host and producer of Key Beach's Sex at the Beach, Chantel Latini and Simon Johnson, as well as comedian Kelly Farmer. I am your announcer, Denny Cristales, and now, here's your host, Jen Lucas! Hello, hello, what up everyone, and welcome to another great episode of Late Night Long Beach. To start off our night, how about we talk about Apple. So the company has recently tried to stop the U.S. government from de-encrypting iPhones, and when the media asked how Apple plans to stop them, they replied, we're forcing them to actually read our terms and conditions. <laughs> Wait a minute, people don't read those? No, I feel like that's just the biggest lie we tell all the time. I have accepted the terms and conditions. Oh man, that's how I spend my Sundays. <laughs> After deciding that his campaign had failed, Jeb Bush has finally dropped out of the presidential race. This also would not be the first time a member of the Bush family was, a uh, dropped. <laughs> Just like he dropped the ball as president, am I right? <laughs> yeah, just like that. Yeah. The world record for the loudest burp ever is now set at a ridiculous 110.6 decibels, which is as loud as a rock concert. So after hearing about this news, Nickelback tweeted, We finally found our new sound, guys! Hey, maybe it'll actually be good music. Maybe, but that's still always debatable, debatable. am I right? <laughs> After a night of drinking, a London local decided to legally change his name to Bacon Double Cheeseburger. His drinking buddy also changed his name to 20-piece chicken nuggets and a side of fries. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Jen, you know what? Mayor McCheese would be proud. Mayor McCheese, you're making that up, but I'm gonna make up my name. I'm like, Animal Fries Jen with extra animal sauce. <laughs> <laughs> a recent court case in California could make it easier to fire bad teachers. Finally, I'll be able to get my revenge on Mrs. Terry Wiggle from the third grade. Yes, that's a real name, and yes, I will remember it forever, right? We never forget. Hey, she'll never teach math again. <laughs> never, and hopefully math will never be taught again. Yes. Just kidding. Oh. No, I'm not. We have an amazing show for you all tonight. We have the honor of interviewing the host and producer of Kate Beach's very own Sex at the Beach, Chantal Latini and Simon Johnson. And later, Woo! yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and later, we have Kelly Farmer performing her stand-up for us. But for now, let's cut to our On the Street segment featuring our correspondent, Rebecca Kamathi. Today we're walking around campus trying to catch people off guard with some risque would you rather not questions in a segment called I'd Rather Not. So for our first question today, would you rather have 11 fingers or 11 toes? Fingers. Any reason why? Just sounded more interesting when you said it. 11 fingers. Fingers. I want to gross people out. <laughs> I want to shake their hand and yeah. just out of nowhere, it's like, hello! Rah! Ooh, 11 fingers. Any reason why? No. <laughs> Would you rather be an English major or a math major? English. English? Definitely. Are you both English right now? No, communication. communication. Oh, that makes a lot of sense yeah. then. Uh, considering that I'm already mechanical engineering, I would have to go with math. I would go with math too. I mean, <laughs> who needs a spell when you... Exactly, like that? exactly. Would you rather give up cheese or alcohol? Probably cheese. Cheese? <laughs> cheese? <laughs> oh man, I could never give up cheese. Oh, I'm yeah. so glad you answered that. Pizza, mac and cheese, you got so many things you can do cheese There's with. so many kinds of cheese. That's, that's right, there's a lot of kinds of cheeses. There's... Would you rather be stalked by Taylor Swift or Kanye West? Taylor Swift. Any reason why? I don't know, she's <laughs> a girl and she's prettier and... Uh, <laughs> she's prettier than Kanye? I mean, I'd much rather be uh, stalked by Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift? Yeah. Yeah? Is there any reason why Taylor Swift? Um, she's kind of pretty and I hate Kanye West. Oh, all right. Taylor Swift would freak me out less. Yeah, yeah, right? And then she'd also probably like write less songs and you know, wouldn't get album of the year and yeah. stuff like that. So. I'd also want to see like what kind of songs she wrote about me. Ooh, yeah. Would you rather get a dollar every time you get rejected or $20 every time you get laid? <laughs> uh... Um, $20 every time I get laid? All right, would you be rich? 
No, no. but I'm getting that. <laughs> but I get $20. Rejected. Rejected? A dollar for rejected. Would you be rich? <laughs> Sadly, yes. <laughs> That's okay, you know, dollar menu, here we exactly. go. Probably a dollar each time I get rejected. Aww. Be pretty rich? No, but... <laughs> Would you rather be caught cheating by your parents or your significant other? Parents. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, my yeah parents. Actually doing it. Oh, by my parents. By your parents? Yeah. Any reason why? Mm. Because if they're going to tell me don't do it again, I won't do it again. Yeah, you seem like you have awesome parents. My parents are probably... Would you rather watch your parents have sex every day for the rest of your life or join in once to stop it? Oh no, I hate this oh, question. This is this the, is worst question. the worst question. <laughs> See, that would, that would take a lot of my time out of my life, so I, I, I'd do it once to stop them, and then I would just never go back. I wouldn't ever mention it again to anybody else. I would probably choose watch them every day. Yeah. I don't really want to join it. Yeah, it's a little weird. My parents are divorced, so I don't want to see that. <laughs> And plus, like, I used to be able to hear my neighbors having sex. It was gross. Oh, my God. Like, every Whoa. night. Oh. Every night? Yeah. Oh, we're getting crazy over there. Oh she God. was a teacher? Oh, my God. <laughs> After school curriculars over there. Yeah. Oh, my God. No, I don't want to answer. bad. No, we're not answering. No, no not answer? Not. Would you rather have sex with a goat and have nobody know, or would you rather not have sex with a goat and have everyone think you did? Um, I guess the latter. The latter? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Any reason why? Because I don't want to actually do it. Um, if I had to choose between the two, I'd say no one knowing the sex with the goat because, you know, if no one else knows, then it's just me and the goat. Would you rather wake up from a one-night stand next to your manager from work or your best friend? Oh, man. Uh, considering my best friend is a man. My best friend. Your best friend? My best friend. That's awesome. <laughs> Best friend. Best friend. All right. Well, <laughs> shout out to his best friend over here. Anyways, well, that's all for us. Back to the studio, Jen. Thank you, Rebecca. Welcome back, everyone. So, over the years, I seem to get a lot, and I mean a lot, of backhanded compliments from super rude people. And I was wondering if you would all mind if I read some of them to you, like some of the worst ones. Yeah. All right, well then let's get started. Let's hear them now. <laughs> you got my jar of sadness over there, Denny. All right, here we go. Your hair looks so nice today. Did you actually wash it? Uh, I don't know, Jen, did you? <laughs> no, I didn't, oh. but it still looks great, huh? Dirty hair looks uh, better. It, it's whatever, a true thing. Whatever floats your boat, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're so much more fun when you've had some drinks. <laughs> we know. We know, we you know. know. <laughs> we all know. You're so smart for a girl. Oh, well, at least you're not as dumb as a boy. <laughs> I like that. I'm going to take that as a compliment. Go for it. You should wear nice clothes like that more often. Oh, wow. I don't know, Jen. Should we? Yes. No. no we'll think yes, about it. We'll, we'll talk about we it. We will ponder it. Yeah. Positives and negatives make a little pro and con list. <laughs> You used to be so photogenic. Oh, wow. Hashtag no filter. I know. Hashtag get out of my face, right? Hey, People are it. so rude. Hashtag jokes. <laughs> the hashtag. Don't worry about your armpit sweat. It doesn't even look that bad. Oh, dear. But I can definitely smell it. Let me tell you. <laughs> What's worse, like seeing it or smelling it? Oh God, uh, Probably you take smelling a pick. It. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh my gosh, did you eat that whole box of Girl Scout cookies by yourself? I, I could never do that. Hey, I don't understand. How could you not finish a whole box of Girl Scout cookies? I know, Come right, on. Denny? Like, that's a personal problem if you can't finish a whole box of Thin Mints, especially when they're frozen. <laughs> my record, probably an embarrassing 30 seconds. Who knows? <laughs> oh, well, thankfully, that's all I have for you all tonight. 
And our guests tonight are the host and producer of K-Beach's longest running radio talk show. So let's go ahead and give it up for Sean Talatini and Simon Johnson. I love it. Thank you both so much for being thank here tonight. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thank you yeah for we're us. so excited. Yeah. So why don't you go ahead and tell us what motivated you to want to be a part of a talk show with the sexual focus? Um, you know what? Uh, the Sex of the Beach has been around for, God, it's, I want to say like 13, 14 years. Oh and gosh, um, yeah. I started actually working for the union here at um, Cal State Long Beach. And I just started writing. And I had a lot of experience with um, helping uh, Half kids who were in halfway houses, kids who just did not get the sexual education as they needed mm -hmm. growing up. And, and when they asked, like, hey, do somebody want to be a guest on Sex of the Beach and kind of give their perspective of sexuality? And I came on as a guest, and <laughs> now it's like almost 10 years later, and now I've continued hosting yeah, it. Yeah, that's really interesting. I like your whole output on that. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Output, you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, right. no, yeah. Just in general, yeah. being able to reach out to different audiences that you wouldn't expect would feel right. comfortable talking about things like that. So that's really important. Thank you. I yeah. enjoy that. And yeah, and I and I hear that you two are big advocates of something called a steak and BJ day. So oh, please uh, explain uh, to us what that is. You know, and it's funny because we count down to it every year. Um, there is actually a steak and a BJ day anthem. We did not make the day up. Yes. Um, this is a real thing. Yeah, this is this a is real, real thing. thing. Oh, um, wow. So just to give you some background. So Valentine's Day is very commercialized. It's mostly for one person in um, the relationship. But basically, steak and a BJ day is like the opposite. Most of the time it is for a man because it's like, oh, Valentine's Day, you get all the, the prim, like the, the candies, the chocolates, the, the, flowers, the flowers, you know, you know the, grounds, this, the candy grounds. This, this one day, March 14th, you know, the month after uh, February 14th, yes. it's, it's like, it's the man day. It's like, the man day. Know? It's the man day, right? Yeah. Because yeah. who doesn't like steak? I'm yeah. Like, Come on. And, and who doesn't like BJ's? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then we, but we always, you know, describe, um, you know, how to make a steak as well. So we have a little uh, information on that. But also, if you're a vegetarian, there are steak tofu like yeah. dishes. And like, so you can be creative. It doesn't have to necessarily be just one yeah. type. Mm -hmm. But overall, it's basically an appreciation day. So mm -hmm. you are able to give back to what was given to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so real quick, just try to give me like a short synopsis of the one of the most entertaining stories that you heard when you were on your show. Like someone oh, called man. in and told you. You know what? I don't. You know what? We always get so many different types of. I I couldn't ever just. Like I guess pick a favorite. Pick you know a favorite. what? All of the uh, burlesque shows were really cool. The, yeah. yeah. Every time we've had a yeah, oh, yeah you, know you should what? talk about yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah. The, one of the burlesque girls, amazing. I've never hula hooped, and she's oh, a burlesque man. hula hoop yeah. um, like dancer. Uh -huh. So she actually strip uh, strips doing like the hula hoop. She'll, she'll have like all these hula hoops around her, and she's taking off yes. her clothes. And I'm like, dude, I can't even wow. hula hoop. How are That's you doing? <laughs> yeah. That's a true talent. Yeah. So she actually <laughs> taught me how to hula hoop in KB Radio. So I was like. Oh my God! She was like, "You just have to do your hips the opposite way." So I guess I'm an opposite hooper. Yeah. <laughs> an opposite hooper. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you two so much for coming on Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Loved hearing thank from you both so of much. you. Thank yeah. You. <laughs> and when we get back, we're gonna be playing a new game called Late Night Emojis. Ooh. So stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, it's now time for our game of the evening, Late Night Emojis. So here's how the game is gonna go. There are two teams, me and Denny, and then Chantel and Simon, and we're both gonna have 20 seconds each to decipher some late night phrases and titles told solely through emojis. And if the team gets close to the meaning, they get a point. So first team to win three rounds wins the game. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Yeah. All right, then let's go. All right, we'll go first. Okay, okay. we'll go first. Okay. It's popcorn. Movie reel. Are we watching Frozen? No, Netflix and chill. We got that one. Netflix and chill, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that yeah. one's good. Oh. Netflix and chill. Snowflake. Snowflake. I know. I just learned what Netflix and chill 
Netflix and chill yeah. met like literally yeah. a couple months ago. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Like five minutes ago, I just. Okay. <laughs> okay, our turn. We got this. All turn. right. Um, zip shut. Shut it. Shut it. Shut up. Shut Come up on. and dance. Shut with up and me. dance with me. No, Let's go. Yeah. 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 Rock the moon. Yeah. Shout out. Let's go. Okay. I have a feeling these are gonna be harder. Flash. Egg. Egg. Flash. Let's take a selfie. What? Oh, okay, Let's no. It's not a bad guess. Uh, <laughs> what is up with an eggplant? <laughs> 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 egg egg Take a picture of your food? Like. Flash E. Flash E. No. Egg. <laughs> oh, I got oh, we ran out of time. Next time. Next time. Oh, well, these are getting harder. Yeah. Okay, we got this next one. This one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, fire. Fire down house. House. Uh, poor house. It's. <laughs> down. It's getting hot. Down house. It's getting hot. Take off. No hey, clothes. come Not on. Have any clothes? It's getting hot, right? It's getting hot in here. It's getting hot. It's getting in hot here. To take so off all take your clothes. Off. Come on. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 All the song shoutouts. <laughs> okay. There we got this one. We got okay. this one. Hashtag the. Mm. Raise your. Oh my. Raise your hand. Right. See, there's a bed and some peaches and some chains. Just know, already, right? just like. <laughs> it equals um, embarrassed. Write me before you go to bed. Um, <laughs> let's watch some Django Unchained. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, ran out of, ran out of time. No, so I think that that's about it. Uh, we'll close it out there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, Django. 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 I love that movie. Right. So mm. good. <laughs> but that's it for tonight, everyone. Let's go ahead and give it up for all of our contestants. Yes, and that's about all the time we have for the show in general, but we do want to make sure to close it out with, ladies and gentlemen, performing her comedy stand-up, let's give it up for Kelly Farmer. What's up, Nugget? <laughs> uh, whenever um, my friends or family say like, hey, do you want to go camping? I go, Blair Witch Project, and then no one wants to go camping. <laughs> and I, I hate camping. I feel like it's just like, just a terrible thing to do. It's like looking at a homeless person and saying like, I could do that. <laughs> Believe me, I could take that into the woods and do it perfectly. <laughs> a lot of people are eating organically nowadays. Um, you know, sometimes people are even like planting things in their own garden and growing it and eating it, eating it and just like having their own food for themselves. And it's kind of like, uh, you know, you get to think like, I grew this and now it's fueling my body, which must be how hamsters feel like when they eat their young. <laughs> Fun fact. <laughs> Speaking of hamsters, having pets are, is pretty weird. It's, um, it's, a, it's a weird kind of like arrangement that you have. You just bring this animal into your house and it's like, um, you're going to live here, and I'm going to feed you and give you a place to live, but um, you're also going to let me, like, touch your body when I get lonely. <laughs> and you're going to let me give you a degrading name. <laughs> and I'm going to take you outside when you have to pee and poop. <laughs> Just like Mom used to. So uh, I like to spend some of my free time usually just in, like, the clearance section at Ralph's. Uh, where they sell like old bread and stuff for like 25 cents. And I mean, it's a health risk, but it's also a bargain. And so I just, I hang out there and I'm like, oh, let's see what they've got. And there was one time I was looking through it and I like turned around and then right in front of me was this old man just staring at me blankly. And I was like, oh, why do old people do this? They're so creepy. It's like they're practicing to be ghosts. <laughs> Uh, sometimes, though, it's really sad, even with young people, like little kids, 
when they get hobbies that you know aren't going to turn out well. It's like, say, like, little Timmy is, like, messing around with magic and, like, card tricks. And then they want to do it professionally as they get older. You think, like, oh, it's just a phase. And then they're, like, 27 and still doing it. It's like, Timmy is never going to make his virginity disappear. <laughs> I was a weird kid. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you could tell. As, you know, I, I actually realized that when I was a little kid in elementary school, my best friend at the time had been bullying me the whole time behind my back. And I just found out really recently. And I was like, oh, God, you know, my other friends, it was like, what should I do? And they were like, you don't need to talk to her anymore. Just don't talk to her ever again. And I was like, you're right. So I don't talk to my grandma anymore. And <laughs> it makes family gatherings really awkward, but like she started it. <laughs> I'm an atheist also. Um, which means I have to tell everyone as soon as I meet them. And I kind of get like that, that look, um, that same look that kids did when they were like the kid on the playground that told everyone that Santa Claus didn't exist. That same like look of hatred. It's like, shut up, it does. I'm stupid. Uh, but you know, people think that atheists don't pray and they do. We just start every prayer with to whom it may concern. just in case. And, you know, if God is around, I have a bone to pick with him because I have lopsided breasts and it's really annoying. But, you know, does anyone else have lopsided? Anyone else out here? Yeah. You, sir? Totally. <laughs> it's natural. It's whatever. Uh, I don't like it. I mean, I, I wanted to have fun with it, so I named them accordingly. Like, the smaller one is Timothy and the bigger one is Goliath. <laughs> for obvious reasons. So. But I figured if I was ever in like a nude situation, I'd wonder what she means by a nude situation. I would just like lean a little bit and they would never tell. So everyone's talking about the elections that are gonna happen eventually. Everyone's talking about like, Hillary, everyone's talking about Donald Trump. And people are saying, like, Hillary can't be president because she's going to have her period and it's going to mess everything up. And it's like, calm down. Okay, that woman is not having her period. <laughs> she hasn't since, like, the Cold War. <sighs> uh, but Donald Trump, on the other hand, is going through menopause and we can all tell. Um, just before I go, um, I wanted to share with you guys this plan that I have. If I ever were to win an Academy Award, uh, I would I just have the whole speech planned out. So here it is. All right. I don't know what to say. we have for tonight. Be sure to try to make it to Kelly Farmer's April 1st stand-up show at Flappers Comedy Club, as well as tune in to Chantel's show every Wednesday night from 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. on K Beach Radio. But for now, tune in next time at Late Night Long Beach. Woo!